What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Leprechaun Laboratory. Today I wanted to have a short and sweet educational chat with you about AN fittings and their size correlation with Imperial and metric systems. What's up guys, it's your boy Max here. If you're new, feel free to stick around and check out the channel, hit subscribe, smash like, and uh, yeah, have a look around, but there's, there's some cool stuff. So sorry, not filming at the workshop today. So again, a bit of a lack of visual stimulus, but uh, I will hopefully be putting a few things around to sort of help you guys understand what I'm trying to talk about. So AN fittings are awesome. We use them all over the automotive industry. Um, fuel, oil, all sorts of different lines. Uh, they're really great. Uh, and they're actually really easy to correlate directly with metric and imperial uh, hose sizes and that. Um, it's, it's a relationship that a lot of people just don't make because they don't bother to research it. I know I struggled it with quite a while, uh, trying to figure out, you know, all the time what, you know, metric size hose a, a dash fitting was made for. Um, so I'm just gonna go through a quick rundown of uh, where they come from and what the, the dash system is and how to correctly correlate it with metric and imperial hose sizes. So AN stands for Army Navy. So all it is is a, the US military came out with a standardized size fitting to make lives a bit easier for themselves. Um, they, they developed this fitting that we all now use that has a really good seal and is really easy to work with. So what they did was base the whole system off a uh, 16th of an inch. So to be able to correlate this, you're gonna have to have some sort of knowledge of fractions. I'm not here to teach you fractions. I'm not gonna do that. All I'm gonna do is teach you how to actually get there to the, to the right sizes. So the AN system, often abbreviated to dash fittings, AN and dash fittings are exactly the same, uh, is based off sixteenths of an inch. So for example, a dash four is four, sixteenths, four sixteenths of an inch, a dash six is six sixteenths of an inch, a dash eight is eight sixteenths of an inch, and so on and so forth, it keeps going. So uh, using this sixteenths of an inch, you can pretty much obviously break it down to the smallest fraction it can be, which will give you your imperial correct sizing. And from that, you can work out your metric quite easily. So for example, eight sixteenths of an inch, we know is half eight sixteenths can be taken right back to a half. So that's a half inch. So we know half inch is around 13 mil. Um, so, you know, you, you dash, <laughs> you dash eight fitting is for a half inch hose or, you know, 13 mil for those in the, in the metric world, which is probably most of us. The same thing, 12 sixteenths of an inch, which is what we use for a lot of oil stuff. Uh, that's 12 sixteenths, which is three quarter. Um, so three quarters of an inch is 19 mil. So your dash 12 fitting is for 19 mil hose. Four sixteenths of an inch, your dash four is four sixteenths, which is a quarter inch. So it's um, it's that easy. <laughs> it, it, it's one of those things I know when I figured it out or when I decided to finally learn it. Um, I, I thought that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I felt really stupid for having gone for so long without knowing it. So apart from that, there are a lot of different types of dash and AN fittings. Uh, you've got AN fittings for different types of braid. You got push lock fittings for, for regular sort of hose. It all is dependent on what line you're trying to make and what it's for and its intended purpose and what it's near. Obviously for things like turbo oil feed and that sort of stuff, we often use braid just because by nature, it's always somewhere that is very hot. But anyway guys, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today was just that sizing of AN fittings and how to get to your required uh, size in metric or imperial. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, stick around if you like. There's some cool stuff on the channel and I'll see you on the next one.